Hi guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will be showing you how to create this amazing looking walkthrough in Revit. So this is my school project I have and I'm going to be using this to create this walkthrough because it's interesting it has all these walkways and these ramps. So I thought I might create a walkthrough that goes maybe along this walkway and then goes up this ramp, up higher and then maybe it can end up over here looking at this ball structure over here. So to do something like that we need to go to the ground level basically where it starts. So I'm just going to go here to ground level and once you're there because this the actual cameras will be going up basically up this ramp over here I need to add an underlay that will be basically the floor above so underlay will be level 0 so now you can see I can see this ramp over here and then this ramp above. Okay, now let's start placing our walkthrough. So to do so, you can go here to default 3D view, open up the drop menu and find your walkthrough. Or you can go here to view and open up this 3D view and select walkthrough. So I'm going to do that. And now we're going to start placing keyframes on our model. So I'm going to start over here and as you can see here, on the modify bar you can see here we have this offset and this is the actual height offset from ground level so let's leave this at 175 for now so I'm just going to start from over here maybe place one over here then I'm going to go up here and then I'm going to change this from 175 maybe to I don't know 275 place it over here and then I'm going to place it over here and that's going to be at 475 because this is 3 meters above this level so I'm going to place it over here then let's place one over here at the same height and then let's start going here up this ramp so I'm going to put here maybe I don't know 7 let's place 7 and here let's go with 10 for this up level above and now I'm just going to continue here towards this and I'm going to just end up something like this. Now once you complete your path, you just go finish walkthrough and then you get something like this. And when you go here to the project browser, you can find your walkthrough over here, it appears. And you can select it, double click it and here it is. Now this actually went to the last frame of the walkthrough, it always does it like that I don't know why so you can go here to edit walkthrough and here where you have frames you can just pick frame 1 go enter and here we are at frame 1 and now let's just for this far clip active I'm going to uncheck it so we can see the whole model everywhere and let's just adjust maybe this frame a little bit okay so that looks fine now we need to adjust the cameras so to do that you can go here to edit walkthrough and you can see here you can skip through frames or through keyframes. And the important thing is keyframes. And in order to basically edit your views and edit this whole walkthrough, you need to go to floor plan. I'm just going to escape out of this. So to go to floor plan, I'm just going to go here to floor plan level. Let's go at site plan. So this is what I'm going to be using and now to see everything more clearly I suggest you hit this here close hidden windows. You hit that you open up your floor plan then you go to your section or elevation somewhere somewhere where you can set the height of the camera so I'm just going to go here to section and now I'm going to go to walkthrough. So I've only opened up those three windows and now when I go to view I can hit here tile view or I can use the shortcut to WT. And now it has tiled all the windows so we can see our walkthrough over here, we can see our section over here and we can see our site plan over here. And now we can edit the walkthrough. So I'm just going to go here to edit walkthrough. And as you can see here we have controls and you have active camera. So when you're on keyframe you can actually change the direction of the view or the target of the camera. When I zoom out over here, you see this is the camera, this is the target. So you can actually change the target and you can see here it will actually move. 
So that's how you change the target of the camera. But if you want to change the actual position of the camera, you can't do that right now. In order to do that, you need to go here to Active Camera and go Path. And now you can change the position of the camera and you can see this will update. But I think the position of the camera is quite alright right now. Let's zoom in over here in this section. Yeah, you can see here the camera is actually going through this ramp. That's not good. So let's bring it up a bit. And for the rest, let's bring it up over here a bit. That looks fine. And now let's set up all of our keyframes. So I'm going to go back here to edit walkthrough. So this is the first frame and it looks alright. So get, let's go to the next keyframe. That's this one. That's this over here. And here I'm just going to change this to active camera. So I can set up the target. And this is next keyframe. No, let's go to previous one. Active camera. And now I'm just going to change it up a bit so it's looking at the building. So next frame or next keyframe, change this up a bit, like so. So I'm going to go to next one, this one looks alright. Next frame. Yeah, this can look a bit up, so I'm just going to go here and maybe make it look a bit up. Yeah, that looks better. And this one, go next. This one can look a bit up as well. Let's go to the next frame, this one looks alright next frame yeah here it can again start looking at a bit in this direction let's go to next frame yeah that looks fine and the final one let's see yeah let's bring it up a bit here in the section to look just a little bit up yeah that looks nice and now if you want to see what have you actually done with this walkthrough you can just choose this window, zoom in a bit, go here to frame 1, edit walkthrough and just go play. And now it will animate your whole walkthrough so you can see if that looks fine. So let's see. Yeah, that looks about alright. Now as far as the speed of the whole animation, you can change that. You can see this is just frame 1 of 300, so we have 3 300 frames, but if you select this 300, it opens up this walkthrough frames dialog, and here you can change the number of frames and the frames per second, and that will give you the total time of your animation. So let's say I want to do this at 30 frames a second, and you can see this actually, of course, brought down our animation to 10 seconds, but I want the animation to last let's say 20 seconds, so I'm just going to bring this up at 600 frames. And if you want to ha have different speeds between your keyframes, let's say between the first one and the second one you want one speed, and between the second one and the third one you want a different speed, you can uncheck this uniform speed. And here for the accelerator, if the number is 1, that's basically the generic number. If you make it higher number, it will go faster. Or if you make it smaller, like I don't know, 0.5, it will be actually slower. So I'm just going to leave it at uniform speed. Go apply, OK, at 600 frames, at 30 frames a second. Go OK. So we can just quick editing our walkthrough. Let's say everything looks fine and we just want to export this. And to do so, you need to go here to Revit and you go to export image and animation and you go to walkthrough and you get this dialog so here we're going to choose all frames it says 20 seconds that's fine the dimensions we're going to leave them at what they are and for visual style let's use hidden line but maybe I can add some shading so I'm just going to cancel out of this add some shadows yeah that looks a lot better so I'm just going to go back here walk through and here for the zoom I'm just going to leave it at 100% go OK save it at the desktop go save and now you get this dialog for video compression and I suggest to use Microsoft video one I prefer that one and I usually leave it at 80% so we get decent quality but it doesn't take too long to 
render the actual walkthrough and just hit OK. And now when it's done rendering, we can minimize this and here we have it. So it's saved as an AVI file and you, as you can see the quality isn't the best but I wanted to render it quite fast so I left it at low quality. Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.